European Volleyball Confederation gets spiked. Chris, I understand there's been a breach of some pretty significant information out of an Azure instance. Yeah, and unfortunately, I feel like I hear this story so many times of an insecure AWS bucket, and in this case, an Azure storage bucket. So in this scenario, it looked like the European Volleyball Confederation that um, hosted all these athletes and journalists to try to identify uh, the athletes and journalists. They had them send in scans of their passports, their driver's license, and other identifying information. Um, however, after they did that, it looked like they stored that information in a unsecure Azure storage blob. And it was actually, the storage account was actually searchable from web searches and also stored in the HTML of their website. And it was called accreditation storage.blob.core.windows.net slash backup. So it was very easy for attackers or any really anyone just to stumble across this storage account, which was not protected by any firewall or any other security settings. I would like to mention that Astra does have an alert that does check if your storage account is publicly open to anonymous requests. So that's how at t is able to defend these storage accounts. But unfortunately, in this scenario, there was no defense or no checking. And the article went in to say that they don't know how the data was exposed, but I would say most of the time, this is really just due to misconfiguration. Someone just not understanding how an Azure storage account works and not able to set the proper firewall settings or check that allow public anonymous access to disabled. And in this case, it's kind of really upsetting to hear because just to take it, not just to blame the European Volleyball Association, but as just a user who may want to just purchase something online, you have to give your name and address so they can send you the package to your house. And you just don't know at the end of the day if they're securely storing that information or it's in like this case in a, in a insecure storage account. But it, it was interesting to read as, a, sorry, John, did you have something to say? Say is that, you know we always we we tend not to uh, promote security by obscurity, but in this case they actually said here X marks the spot. Here's where to go get the data. <laughs> yeah, they did, and just to maybe add to the speculation, it I would assume I don't think the European Volleyball Association is probably the most forward-thinking tech company out there. So they probably they probably someone told them to maybe move to the cloud, and maybe this is how they're slowly kind of trying to migrate data over. And just not understanding the whole the perimeter and like a zero trust architecture and settings like that. I think uh, whenever like a new technology rolls around, I think we keep going through these cycles where it's new and maybe the security hasn't been studied all that well. And uh, there's not even good guidance. It's not true for S3 buckets, but uh, for some other things that are new, maybe there's not good guidance on how to do it or the information is not widely known, or even maybe it's too complicated to implement. And I think um, as security engineers in the community, I think those are all important things that have to be kind of described. So if you're gonna move your, you know, if you're coming up with this like new technology, this new hosting cluster, don't just tell people how to build applications with your technology, but explain to people how should they secure themselves with the use of your technology? What are the best practices? And make that live side by side with the development uh, documentation. Uh, call out in the, whatever, the API documents or in the S3 config documents. Important note, you know, here's how you have to do it uh, that's a little bit more secure and don't do it this other way. Don't just leave things running. On that actually, this S3 bucket is, is like such a popular thing I think this year, uh, the SANS holiday hack that just passed, this was one of the challenges was to look for an unsecured S3 bucket. And um, the tools are really simple that allow people to do this. 
and um, the adversaries, you know, they, they have these tools. So if you're watching the show or you find it on YouTube and you hear S3 and you're like, maybe I'm using S3, just remember this one thing. Figure out are they secure or are they hidden or are they protected, I think. And that's, I think that's important.